Because when you get to the patient, you have to put your head above the patient's head and there might not be enough space. So sometimes you get there, you take your helmet off, you intubate, put your helmet back on for the extra patient. So one way to buy yourself a little more space. That's if you meet the patient this way. If you meet the patient that way, you're going to have to intubate face to face, right? Or from the front. How do you intubate face to face? Your head goes upside down. No one intubate like that. Put your other hand. Hold it like a hammer. Remember that, otherwise it gets too confused. Hold it like a hammer. When I intubate hey, this patient hey, normally, from here, where are my eyeballs? They're right here. Rob, make sure it's a blue line. When you're coming from below, you got to get your eyeballs in the same position. So you have to oh, you're setting insert, up, uh, the doc. put your head off. against his forehead, and look down your blade. Copy, I'm ready. My blade, when I intubate, goes 45 degrees towards the sky. My handle, rather. 45 degrees towards the sky. This handle has to go 45 degrees towards the sky. So what I do with my lap, I pull it down. And then when you, when you insert, it's a bit more of a C than a hockey stick, because you're coming in like that. All right, so uh, you guys split up.